Hey everybody, this is your girl Blush of Beauty coming back with you with another uh, tutorial. This one will be based on skincare and just basically doing just a little bit of talking in reference to some ingredients that you should know, especially with uh, a darker skin tone, uh, doing chemical peels and microdermabrasion, things of that nature, and is glycolic better than salicylic acid? Uh, me being a licensed esthetician and in this beauty industry, uh, it is kind of hard for some darker skins to uh, accept or recept different chemical pills that are out there today. Um, a good facial scrubbing and, and cleansing uh, kind of does the trick as well as things that has different ingredients to help lighten dark spots or hyperpigmentation some may call it age spots or aging spots so a couple of ingredients that you should know is like the kojic acid and don't mind me i might be looking back and forth at some of my notes just making sure that i am providing all of uh, the necessity or necessary information and the correct information to you guys so kojic acid is a great type of acid uh, that we or anyone especially darker skin such as myself uh, should be able to incorporate with our skincare regimen. So kojic acid is used for reducing the appearance of dark spots, is often considered an alternative to uh, hydroquinone. And hydroquinone um, has been found or stated to cause some, some health problems with using too much or not using it properly. Uh, also, you have licorice. Licorice is the root of, it's a root extract that helps fade discoloration. So anything that you see with kojic acid, and that's spelled K-O-J-I-C, kojic, and then licorice as well, those are going to help for the younger, uh, well I shouldn't say younger, but people that has hyperpigmentation, fade, dark spots, uh, those are going to help fade those discolorations like it thumbs up i used the kojic acid um because i had some problems up throughout here at one point and then i have end up burning my skin around my mouth one time from using clinique uh years ago and then just recently a few months back i end up scarring again around here from using the pumice peel from um, bio elements and certain things you want to be careful with your skin like the pumice peel is like basically like a microdermabrasion in a jar though and they're very very fine granules and I was just going at it and it ended up burning my skin so that wasn't a good thing at all uh, you also have uh, peptides those are amino uh, acids that rejuvenate the skin by helping uh, dead skin cells turn over. So anything that have peptides in it as well, you want to think of it as planting seeds of collagen. Peptides help build your collagen in your skin, so we need that. So things that have peptides in it is also uh, a, a plus as well. Then you have your hyaluronic acid. Now hyaluronic acid is great for dry skin and Pardon me. So the hyaluronic acid is great for dry skin. It's also uh, it also holds up to a thousand times is water moisture. So if you're dehydrated or if you have dehydrated skin, you definitely want to look for products that have hyaluronic acid in it. Uh, that's going to help with the dehydration. Again, it has a thousand times more water moisture that we're able to retain. You also want to eat water. And what I mean by eating water is you want to eat products that, that contains water like cucumbers. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, broccoli. Things of that nature that it will be able to hold on and 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 the water it deposit to your it, it it deposit it's not like you're drinking water and then you're flushing it out your system so eat water as well find out what type of vegetables and things of that nature and fruits have lots of water um, that contains in that particular uh food that you're eating that's another thing uh then we also have the salicylic acid and that is going to be more for your your 
problematic skin, your acnetic skin uh, that has a lot of pores that are clogged, that salicylic acid will help dry that the pores out in um, the sebaceous gland. So again, the salicylic acid is excellent for cleansing excess oils from the pores. Um, women of color to start with a milder salicylic product over a harsh glycolic so they will recommend us starting with a salicylic acid versus a glycolic but then again all of these different acid does come in different percentages 10 20 30 and so forth so whatever you do decide start off low and then work your way and build your way up to see the final results that you're looking for okay and then we also have um, I don't think I'm going to pronounce this correctly. Niacinamide, N-I-A-C-I-N-A-M-I-D-E. And that is a form of vitamin A that helps decrease sebum and even out the skin tone. So if you're looking to even out your skin tone, that's a great product as well. And then you have ferulic acid. And that's an ingredient that enhances... Um, it has vitamin C and E and is ideal for breaking up the pigment and evening out skin tone. So the, all those things right there would be great to help with evening out your skin tone with the vitamin C and E, definitely. The kojic acid, which is going to help with the discoloration in your skin. Okay, licorice, which is going to fade discoloration as well. So those are some good things to start off with. And again, whatever chemicals you decide that you're using, you always want to make sure that it's the best for you. Um, sulfur is good for problematic skin or acnetic skin as well. So anything that has sulfur in it, as long as you're not uh, allergic to it, that will be uh, a, a plus uh, with acnetic or problematic skin. And then staying away from dairy food and milk and cheese things of that nature uh, you want to really increase your water increase and if you do have problematic skin you want to make sure that you're changing your pillowcases frequently or flipping them uh, every other day um, you want to make sure that you are um, cleansing um, at least if you could, I would say three times a day. Uh, so that's for my problematic skin care uh, right there. Try something with sulfur, a clearing, fine wash, and toner. Definitely use a toner because a toner helps restore your skin back to its regular pH balance. And that way it's not attacked by free radicals. Because uh, it takes probably about a half an hour before the skin goes back to its regular pH balance. So you definitely want to tone. Okay. And then... Um, for the people that might have some question about like the little white bumps that we have on our chin, the little hard white bumps down there, it's called milia. Um, and basically that's a white head. It's a small deposit of keratin covered by a layer of the epidural. Uh, so they can be hard to um, eliminate. But there's like lactic acid out there that helps reduce the pore size. I love it. Um, if you and, and it's also purifying as well so and hydrating as well so that's another good thing uh, lactic acid uh, that's going to help reduce the pore size and keep the skin uh, at bay from breakouts what else so again uh, dry skin is an under functioning of the sebaceous glands fine lines dull appearance at times uh, comedones are blackheads they're a plug of oil filling the follicle uh, cap with the blackhead debris caused by oxidization also sometimes when you see those little blackheads on in your nose or people noses or even throughout this area right here sometimes that's hair and when I go to extract that sometimes a hair follicle well hair is coming out of that follicle pardon me so um, take a towel you know and really push really push you know you could do that yourself too to, to get some some of it out so you're not just walking around with all those tiny little black dots on your nose I like to call them a uh, 
looking like a strawberry. 